And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Control. Now what Control really I enjoyed about the game when I first saw it was just how, I mean look at that box, that's a, that's a box that catches your attention. And the cards inside had that same kind of glossy look to them, just really had a, a cool thing to them. The intro here actually has like out of time. Father time, people are fixing time to stop some massive explosion or whatever. Okay, cool. It's a card game for two players, three players, or a team of two against each other. Here's how it plays. The goal of this game is to play fuel car cell cards in front of you. That's basically all these cards. There are uh, silver and bronze ones. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to get 21 or more in front of you. So players are going to have a handful of five cards to start the game with. On their turn, you get one action. So one of your actions can be draw a card into your hand. Another action can be to install a fuel cell. Now when you install a bronze fuel cell, that nothing, you just put it down, only the number matters. Okay, if you install a silver one, there's a special ability on this one's immune to diffusing once it's installed. Okay, that's fine. This one here says draw a card or destroy a Nova in play. So if someone else has played a Nova, you would have a chance to blow that up and Novas are tens. So you can play one of these. Another thing you can do is you can play a bronze card, but instead of putting it in front of you, you do what it does here. This says destroy all silver fuel cells in play, including your own, which would actually destroy this. It's immune to diffusing, but it's not immune to ability. So boom, this would blow this one up if someone else had played that. Uh, this one here, destroy all bronze fuel cells in play, including your own. Look at the top two cards of the deck, return one to the top and play the other however you want. Transfer control of a silver fuel cell. The ability is triggered for the new owner. So basically the cards are gonna move things around in the middle. You can also diffuse a fuel cell. You basically, if someone has a six in front of them, I could play a number that is equal to it or higher, and they both go to the discard pile. And that's with this reactor here. This one would be immune to being diffused. So you're just gonna go back and forth and play till someone gets 21 points. You can also play in pairs, and then there's also variants if you wanna play any of these, and they even have details and tips which I'm going to explain to you in a minute. They could have not put them there because it's extremely obvious. That's how you play. The game also comes with little coins that you can use. These are nice little coins if you want to play the game in rounds. So instead of saying the game's over and someone gets to 21 and let's go play a better game, no, instead let's subject ourselves to more torture and play this multiple times. Oh, am I giving away my opinion? Yeah, the game's pretty bad. Man, and it looks so nice, but it's just another take that game. Ah, oh, and this one's not even. <sighs> okay, yay, there's unique things in this game where there are cards that you can play them for the number or the special ability. Yay? I mean, really, this game is just a Uno-ish type game where you're playing cards in front of you and hoping the other player doesn't blow them up. That's really it. A 10, you can't stop a 10 unless you waste a 10 from your own hand, in which case you're not playing it in front of yourself. And in a three player game, it's better to build yourself up than hit somebody else. In a two player game or a four player game, I can play a 10 to take out your 10 and it makes a little bit more sense in a four player game, but it's no different than if I just put the 10 in front of me, it doesn't matter. And then there's cards that kill all the silver cards. There's cards that kill all the bronze cards. Yay! Wiping the board and putting out more cards. I mean, you literally put out a card. Someone blows it up. You, they put out a card. You blow it up. You put out a card. No one blows it up. They put out a card. Now let's blow up all the cards. Until finally someone mercifully gets to 21. To the point where you will stand and applaud them and say, Congratulations, sir. Now let's play a game that matters. Don't make a pretty game. That's nothing underneath. It's like a mannequin. 
Might look nice. That's probably not a good idea. Mannequins don't look that good. All right. Um, a mannequin at Madame, at, at one of those fancy places where they look real. It looks nice. But underneath, there's no soul. There's nothing. This game's not good. Oh, and it's pretty. But I cannot recommend it, folks. Control. Some interesting ideas, but there's no interesting gameplay. Dice Tower Judgment. It's pretty. Pretty bad. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door.